this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. And as promised, um, in this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet Barbie umbrella to go with her uh, raincoat. So I showed you how it all looks uh, in my studio box in the first clip. And now I'm back to my working table. So Here's the Barbie, here's the umbrella. And so because I'm using this insulated wire for the uh, umbrella stick, uh, I can bend it the way I want to attach it to her hand. And, uh, I was able to take some really great pictures like that. So, and then I can just Hold it back to the usual umbrella shape if I like. And my umbrella has just uh, 12 rounds to crochet. And uh, I will show you next what you need to make this umbrella. And for the umbrella, I'm using the same yarn, uh, blue and yellow, Alize Bella cotton. Uh, these are the same skeins I used for the raincoat, so there's plenty left here. The crochet hook is a little finer, 2.25 millimeters, because I want the umbrella to be tighter than the coat was. Um, you'll need uh, some sort of wire. So this one I'm using, it's an insulated wire. I already folded it here. So that goes into the top. And that's the hook of the umbrella and um, it is seven and a half inches long uh, scissors tapestry needle tape measure and let's get started I start with my blue yarn and uh, I make magic ring first so place the yarn the tail is down here place it across your fingers fold it around your index finger and make a cross insert your hook underneath through here the first strand to pull that second one through here pull it up take the finger out yarn over and pull through the loop and now we're ready to start our stitches and I'm going to make four round, three rounds of uh, four single crochet stitches, continuous rounds. So this is quite tight. So hopefully it will show well here how I'm doing it. So, so four, one, single crochets, two, three, four. Then pull the ring tight. And now go straight to that first single crochet and make start the second round make first one here one. here's my second and while I'm doing it I'm already pushing this little circle out like this so here's the third and fourth because I want to be crocheting along the outer edge here so two rounds one more so that was the last stitch. I'm going straight to this. Here's the first one. One. Two. Three. And four. So here we have this nice little knob so we can use later on to insert the top of the wire once the umbrella is done. And now the fourth round, 
first I'm going to slip stitch in the next the first single crochet and we need to make three double crochets in each stitch start with three chains that counts as first and make two more double crochets in that first single crochet one and two It's uh, quite tight work, but it gets much better as we go on. So here's the second single crochet. We need to make, make uh, three double crochets. One, two, three. Let's see. Here's my third. One. Two. And three. And the last is right here so one two and three great and slip stitch in the beginning third chain On the next uh, fifth round we're going to join the yellow yarn for stripes but first we need to make four double crochets so chain three that counts as first and they all go in the same stitch so in that same beginning space here make three double crochets third and uh, now don't finish the fourth we're going to join the yellow yarn pulling through the last two loops of blue so first make a slip knot and then pull it through these loops here and we need to keep the blue yarn within the next stitch we're making with yellow so keep it right here above the stitch above the round and we're going to make front bows double crochet around the next double crochet so yarn over and this is the next stitch from front to back back to front again yarn over pull it through the post then pull through first two loops and for the last two loops switch back to the blue we will continue with blue here first stripe is started with that in the next stitch again the yellow yarn keep it here inside the stitches so above here and in the next stitch make four double crochets one two three and four again the last one don't finish last two loops on hook change back to the yellow and pull through two loops and around the next post of double crochet here we're gonna make 
front post. So again, yarn over, insert a hook from front to back to front again, then yarn over and pull it through around the post, pull through first two loops, and for the last two loops, switch back to the blue. And again, in the next stitch, make four double crochets with blue. One, two, you see I'm holding this yellow one here inside the stitches. Three, four, and to finish the fourth, bring the yellow and pull through loops. Again, with a yellow, the next double crochet is here. Going to insert hook this way here. Change back to the blue. And four double crochets. One, two, three, Finish the fourth with yellow. So do the remaining round the same way. You'll have six of these yellow stitches and we'll finish it together. And here's my last yellow stitch. I already pulled through the yellow yarn. I'm going to make that last front post double crochet pull through first two loops for last two loops change back to the blue and slip stitch in a beginning third chain and round six start with three chains and now double crochet also always uh, paying attention my second yarn will remain all these stitches so work around it so make double crochet in that same space we need to increase here then make one double crochet in the next one in the next and two in the next one and two and finishing the second one the last one with yellow and I'm going to make front post double crochet around the one same one on the previous round same way pull through first two loops and last one two loops switch back to blue and two double crochets in the first then one in next two one each next two and two in the last one two and finish that second with yellow make front post double crochet and finish it with blue and repeat so you have six blue double crochet stitches between each yellow and ending round six same way last front post double crochet stitch and switch back to blue and slip stitch and slip stitch in a beginning third chain and next chain three and we're going to increase the same way so double crochet one in the same space 
now to one two three four one in each four one two three four and then two in the last one two and finish the last one with yellow then a uh, front post double crochet change back to blue and repeat two double crochets in the first then one in each next four two in here and the yellow front post stitch and repeat and that was round seven i finished it the same way now round eight we keep increasing same way three chains and double crochet in the same space then one in each next six one two three four five six then two in the last here one and two change to yellow with the last stitch and two front post double crochet change back to blue and repeat so now you have four, six eight, ten double crochets here between each front post double crochet and round nine same again we need to increase two three double crochet in the same space then one in each next eight and then two in the last and then front post double crochet and round 10 we still repeat the same chain three double crochet in the same then double crochet one in each next four ten and then two in the last so on this round we have 14 blue double crochet stitches and then yellow front post double crochet and next round 11 we'll do the same except we don't increase anymore so chain three and now go into the next double crochet and just uh, double crochet one in each and don't make two in the last just one two four six eight ten twelve so you still have 14 double crochets and then the yellow front post double crochet you'll do the same and now my last yellow front post double crochet so i'm not going to change to blue anymore because we're finished with blue so just uh, slip stitch in that uh, beginning third chain and our very last round with yellow we're going to single crochet in back loops so chain go into the next back loop stitch make single crochet so not through both here but just the back loop and we can also already cut off that blue
and so and when you reach the yellow uh, front post stitch here uh, this one insert hook through both loops so this will look better and then continue with the blue stitches back loops only I did the last uh, single crochet in uh, uh, front post double crochet stitch and now I'm going to slip stitch in that chain that I made in the beginning of the round and then cut off and fasten off. And next, now we can see how it looks with the umbrella stick. So I'm going to stick this in here. So I think the size and everything that's good. Uh, but as you see it's not very steady here it's kind of like moving on the sticks so what we're gonna do we're going to now cut some strings and uh, attach the stick with the strings so it will be more steady it's quite quite like the usual rods you see under the umbrella. Uh, first, uh, let's weave in these ends so it'll be easier to work with the strings. And now I'm going to cut seven inch strands and uh, six of them. So about seven inches good. And then see okay I'm going to insert my needle so this is the first round with a yellow yarn and so here are the blue stitches so let's insert needle through the blue stitches and leave the first strand right here then grab the next one and do the same here leave about the same length on each side so do the same with all six so i have now two strands for e uh, each sector and let's see how we can now attach the stick here so first i'm gonna insert it in here it helps to flatten it a little bit here and now i'm going to take oh i messed them up a little it's better to have them laid out 
uh, I'm going to take the opposite side strands so this one and this one and now first make a round with this and then from the opposite direction with this and now we just need to tie oh it even stays up great so gently here tie the first one and may need some adjustment and make a double knot gonna leave the strands here for adjustment okay and now let's do the next one opposite side make a round with the first one make a round with the opposite one and so we can meet them here and tie the knot And make make it double okay one more go around the stick with the first one and then from the opposite side the other one and so meet them here and try and make the knot if you find it easier you can make these strands longer like eight inches or so and one more knot So now you can pull these, see, make sure you grab the right ones, pull all of these tighter because that's the, the better, the steadier it will be. And let's see now. Oh, it looks like a mushroom. Okay, so much better. It moves a little bit, but... It doesn't swirl around anymore. It's good. And then just uh, cut these ends shorter so they won't show. So this is how I attach the stick. Um, you can uh, let me know if you have a better idea how to do this. Uh, so I think that's one way and it's pretty good. Might not be perfect, but I think it's good. And now we can try it, see how the umbrella fits the Barbie. And here's my Barbie and umbrella for her. So now I need to figure out how she can hold it, right? Great. So anyways, have fun with making the uh, Barbie umbrella. And 
the written pattern is uh, on my website as uh, usual and let me know if you have any questions and happy crocheting